Namaste Chair Yogis and welcome to our Chair Yoga practice for today. Today's practice is going to be a 45 minute class with some sun salutation B variations and some warriors with some beautiful shoulder movements. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button to subscribe to the channel. And the more that we engage in this channel, the more people can come and do Chai Yoga along with us. And the more Chai Yogis out there, the better I say. So are you ready? Let's go get started. Well, let's get started in sitting mountain. So we'll come a little bit towards the front of the chair. Make sure we have our sit bones feeling grounded and steady on the seat. Walk your feet forward a little bit until your heels sit under your knees. We'll have our knees about hips distance apart so they line up with that bony point of the hip and the middle toe points forward. And then from there, let the spine grow nice and tall. Feel like there's a string coming up out of the top of your head and it's connected to the ceiling, just pulling you upwards gently. And let the shoulders soften up, back and down into your back. You can roll them a few times if you want to. Mm, that feels good. <laughs> and then we'll let them rest down in the back. The hands can just rest softly either on the lap or down beside you or upwards. Whatever feels right today for you, for your hands, just let them land there. Feel the connection of your feet into Mother Earth beneath you. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable for you today. Take a little exploration through your body, starting from your feet, traveling up over the knees to the hips and up the spine, all the way to the crown of the head, down to the fingertips. Back up to think from the fingertips to the shoulders, and the crown of the head down the spine, all the way down to the base of your spine and tailbone, and over the hips and down the legs, past the knees to the ankles and the bottom of the feet. Maybe inhaling as you bring your breath up your body from the feet, all the way up to the crown of the head. And then breathing out as you bring the breath down the body from the crown of the head all the way down to the base of your feet. Breathing in that beautiful energy, support, nourishment from Mother Earth all the way through your body. And breathing out, allowing that beautiful divine light from source to flow down through the crown of your head, through the whole body, connecting you down to Mother Earth again. Take one more breath, just like that. Breathing in, connecting to Mother Earth and connecting to the divine, whatever you want to call it. And then when you're ready to, just gently letting the eyes open. If you close them, coming back into this space. And from here, bringing your hands to face forward, take your feet, press them down into the earth a little more to give you some support. And on your inhale breath, let your left arm start to move forward as your right arm moves back. Keep the elbow bent to start with and then exhale to change over. Inhale, up and back. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Again, just like marching arms, <laughs> slow motion marching through water, through mud, without swinging. Feel every part of the movement. Feel how the movement doesn't start and stop. It flows like the breath. Mm. Then we'll come back into the center and just keep your hands facing forward. We're going to take the hands, both of them, over with, towards the right side and then come back into the middle and then over towards the left and then come back into the middle. So not twisting just yet, just focusing in on our shoulders first of all. Coming back. Again. 
Good. And then from there, we're going to take our hands and take them up and around in a circle. Almost like you're just making a circle on a pane of imaginary glass in front of you. Drawing that circle and then we'll change direction. Your circle can be as big or as small as you like, of course. Just drawing the circle or like finger painting on a wall in front of you. Fun. And then coming back into the middle and then just swipe that paint all over the walls, all around you, wherever the walls end behind you and then swipe the paint back. <laughs> you can bring the palms to face each other and then swipe the paint all over the walls and then coming back. And again, swiping the paint and coming back and then the palms face each other here turn the palms to face back to back and inhale draw the fingertips towards the heart and then turn the palms over to face the ceiling and then inhale bring the hands back past your heart back to back palms lengthening the arms to wherever feels comfortable for you so inhaling exhaling Exhaling and again. And exhale and then like breaststroke, sweep the arms around and beside the body and then breaststroke again. That's it. So feel the shoulders turning, yeah? Breaststroke, beautiful. Bring that back into the middle. Interlace your fingers and make a little figure eight with your hands. And then change the interlace to the other way around. See if you can recircle in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always have to think on that one. And then turning your palms forward, stretching out through the fingers. Remember to not just force and stretch through the upper back, but relax the shoulders, relax the upper back. Breathe here. And slowly bring the hands back, swap that over again. So the other pinkies at the bottom again feels normal once more. And then if you feel comfortable to let your arms raise up slowly. Some of you have your arms up before I even finish saying that. Before I even finish saying raise. <laughs> it's pretty quick, isn't it? Let's breathe out and come back down. Ah, feels good. Now inhale, slowly float your hands around beside your hips, onto your hips if you like. Draw the shoulder blades together, let the sternum look shine your heart forward and up. Maybe bring your fingertips down onto your lower back if that feels okay for you. Fingertips facing down with the palms, just resting on the lower back. Maybe gazing up to where the roof meets the wall. Pressing into your feet a little just to engage that core and the lower back support. One more beautiful breath here. Nourishing, isn't it? And then let's exhale and release that. Good. Take a breath here in our neutral position. Mm. Now on your exhale breath, turn your ribs around towards the right. Slide your hand up your leg towards your hip and then slide your hand down as you exhale. Inhale to the center. Slide your hand up to the left as you turn to the left on your exhale. Inhale back to the center. And again, just turning side to side. Mm, feels good to move the spine one way and then the other. And we're pausing this twist here over on the right side, just pausing there. And if you want to keep your hand on your hip, we'll slide your hand up the side of your body or somewhere along uh, near the side of your body to the shoulder, or maybe extend that arm out behind you somewhere if that feels okay for you. Not overstretching, so don't need to take the arm further than where the shoulder is. It would just be in line with the shoulder. Feel like that string is still pulling you upwards towards the ceiling. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, let your left forearm move downwards towards your leg and your hand could move in maybe to the shoulder 
or maybe up somewhere over the head, depending where that feels good. Now staying in this side bend, let's move the arm down and up. Ah, is the body moving too? Staying in the side bend, let's move just the arm. Just the arm. So it might be that your hands on your shoulder and your elbows just moving to wherever feels right for you or it's on your hip and you're working with expanding that space with the breath. It's another variation. Oh, just because I did something with my hands, did you all have to do it too? <laughs> I noticed everyone was going like that too. <laughs> all right, last one. Let's hold it there. Wherever you are, take a breath. <laughs> Exhale. And then inhale to come back up to the center again. On your exhale breath, turn your ribs around towards your left and maybe slide your hand up your body or beside your body and extend that out if you'd like to. And we'll pause in our, in our twist for a moment. Taking a couple of breaths, relaxing the shoulders, but feeling that crown of the head lifting up towards the sky. Now letting your forearm move down towards your thigh and we'll bring that arm up and over. Remember, it could be hip, shoulder. It could be coming over somewhere. And we stay with the body on that angle and then we take the arm down and up. So the elbow down and up. Or we invite that beautiful breath into the side body if that feels better than moving the arm. The breath is movement as well. So don't forget that you don't have to always be using your limbs to make movement actually use the breath. This one we're going to hold up there, taking a breath here now, in and out to the side moves. And then the inhale breath can bring you back up towards the center. Take another breath here just to land. Oh, I feel spacious. <laughs> and then on your exhale breath, let's fold forward over the legs. So we'll come about halfway. And then from here, we'll bring the hands down towards the ankles. And on the inhale breath, lifting up, lengthening your spine. Maybe draw your shoulders back, make a little arch if you like. And then exhale to fold. And you can round your spine if it's okay for you, but just be very careful if you do that. Keep lots of length. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. And inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Feel like as you come up that all the back muscles are really working to lift. So from the tailbone all the way up the spine, all those muscles that support your spine are really working to lift you up. The feet are helping. Last one. And then we're going to pause down there, but without rounding the spine, just find a nice flat back now. Now on your inhale breath, press into the balls of your feet, lift your heels from the ground. And on your exhale, let the heels float down. And the inhale, lifting up and lowering. Good. Now just keeping the spine long now. So no, we don't want to move the spine now up and down. We're keeping the spine still and just lifting the heels. So just having the body weight forward a little bit, it's just adding some weight onto your legs. So we're building strength into our ankle joint, our feet, our calves shins, maybe some other muscles as well. All right, now pressing through your heels and start to move on up through the body. Take your time to get there and take your breath here. Now keeping your left foot where it is, bring your right foot up to the ball of the foot and maybe you'll stay here or you might like to move your foot out a little bit more to the side. It. And then from here, you can stay here if you like and lower the heel down and pick the heel up. You can do it to the front as well. Or you might like to float the leg up and float the leg down. Now, we usually do this side to side, but we're going to stay on one side today. And we've got a little bit of that wider stance as well, maybe. So you use this leg for lots of support. And one more. And lower down. And from there, we'll keep this left leg steady and we'll drop the right knee inwards and then the right knee out and the right knee in 
And now you can stay with that if you want, foot connected to the floor, or maybe lift up and move side to side. Now what we wanna do is drop the knee in and then turn the knee out. So we're working our rotation in that leg um, bone that's in the hip. And then when you're ready, just finishing that off, we'll bring that down, we'll take it back into the middle, and let's do the other side. So again, you can stay at the front if taking the leg out doesn't feel nice. If you'd like to take it out, you can. And we'll raise the heel and lower the heel. And you're welcome to stay here with your foot connected to the floor. Or you might like to ground a little more into that right leg. Pick it up and lower down heel toe like we do when we do our chair walking to the front. Heel toe. Or when we walk outside. But we don't normally walk with one leg out to the side, I suppose, do we? <laughs> but we're still helping to build the heel toe pattern. And then from there, we'll finish off that. We'll come in and drop that knee in towards the center and take the knee out. Now notice that this knee wants to have a little movement as well. Keep that one steady, keep the sit bones steady. And if it feels nice and comfortable for you to lift your leg, feel free. You probably notice one leg goes out more and one leg comes in more. We often have a slight imbalance in our Rotation of the hips, different side to side. All right, last one. And then we'll bring that back down, we'll bring it back into the middle. Give your hips a little rub. Say, hello, hips. How are you today? <laughs> Did they answer you? And say, oh, I'm good now, Claire. Thanks for looking after me. <laughs> Giving me some love. <laughs> All my body parts have a different um, tone of voice. Have you noticed? <laughs> they all speak back differently to me. <laughs> all right, from here we're gonna breathe in. And now on the exhale breath, hinge forward again from your hips. And from here, ground into your feet. Start to move your hands away from your legs if you'd like to. You can keep them connected if that feels better. And we'll keep the palms facing downwards. We're going to let the arms travel forward without moving the rest of our spine and just see where they end up. Just see, keep the spine as being long your priority. And then maybe turn the palms to face each other. Keep the head in line with the spine. Draw the pit of the belly in a bit. Push down into your feet. Good. Taking a breath here. A breath out. Another breath in. And a breath out to release the hands down. Good. Just push the body back up. And bring your hands to your hips or maybe your lower back. Or if it feels comfortable, you can clasp your fingers and take them behind your back, letting the shoulders move towards each other wherever you are and the sternum lift. And you can stay here tall and breathe, or maybe you'd like to come forward a little bit over your legs. Just see how that feels. Taking one more breath wherever you are. If you're down, put, push into your feet to help you come up as your inhale breath. Releasing through your arms, letting that come back and sit down. Now we'll tuck the right foot under the chair, so take, uh, sorry, left foot, take it to wherever feels right for you to tuck it under. Ground into both feet and let the arms start to raise up. Now they might um, come up towards your shoulders, they might come up high and they might lengthen out to so just bring them to wherever feels comfortable. They can be apart or you might even like to join your palms together somewhere. Remember to do it how it feels good for you. How do your shoulders feel here? Press into your feet. Breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful. I love seeing you all do something in your own way. Next exhale breath, release your hands to bring them down. And let's take the foot out into sitting mountain again. From here, we're going to press into our hands and push the ground away. Feel the core engage. Spread your fingers out. Feel some broadness coming across the back of your shoulders. Try not to poke your head forward. Take a big breath into the upper back. And on your exhale breath, hinge forward from the hips. Keep pressing into your feet. Imagine you're lowering yourself towards the wall in front of you. Imaginary, that imaginary glass wall. Draw the elbows back, hands in line with the lower ribs. 
and then draw the shoulders towards each other, lift the stern and breathe in. And then neutralize again as you exhale and press into the feet, press into the hands to push you back up. If you'd like to, you can take your feet out now in front so there's, they're a little bit bent through the knees, heels grounding and toes pulling back, breathe in. As you exhale, hinge forward, you can have your hands on your legs, hinge forward, maybe press your hands forward and up. Take a couple of breaths here. Remember to find space in your shoulders. Find that beautiful length in your spine as your guide as to where your hands go. Remember the limbs can come in second. Look after the spine first. Taking one more breath. And then on your next inhale, start to press through your feet and slowly come back up again. Good. Just Bring your feet back into sitting mountain. Take a breath here. And on your exhale breath, folding down forward over your legs. And inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to fold down. And then inhale to rise up to seated again. Breathing in. You can take your hands wherever feels right. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Now grounding down into your feet again, hinge forward a little bit from your hips, send your hands upwards, they might separate as you send them forward and up. Keep the spine really nice and long. Relax through your shoulders, head in line with the spine, a little bit of engagement in the core. And then pressing yourself back up as you inhale, bring your hands around, hips or lower back or clasp them, maybe the unusual way this time. And inhale to grow, open through the chest. If you feel like folding forward, exhale to fold forward over your legs. If you don't, just stay nice and tall because most important we get that little extension through the chest there. Keep those shoulders moving away from the ears. So the shoulders are still moving backwards even if you fold forward. Relax your head if you want. One more breath, and then your next inhale breath. Press into your feet and start to come upwards from there. Good, and releasing your hands. And this time taking your right leg back underneath you onto the ball of the foot. Breathe in here, and as you exhale, um, taking your hands upwards towards the sky, and they might stop somewhere. In, they might come together somewhere. They might be apart. doesn't matter. Taking a breath or two here, press into those feet, relax the shoulders and the face. And then slowly exhale and bring your hands back down again. Walk that foot back out to sitting mountain. Now keep your feet where they are, or if you'd like to for this movement, you can bring your feet back a little bit. Press down through the heels, press into the balls of the feet, bring the hands up, engage the core, and press the hands forward. Again, as though you're pushing something away from your body, or you're pushing your body away from something. Take a breath in here. And then we're going to imagine we're lowering our body towards the wall in front. Bring the elbows back so they come in towards those lower ribs. And then from there, draw your shoulder blades together, lift your sternum, and bring your heart forward. And then exhale, come back into that neutral position. Press with your feet, press with your hands to come back up again. And then bring your feet out. Maybe they go out in front or to sitting mountain, whatever works for you. And then on your exhale breath, folding over the legs. Maybe the hands stay close to you somewhere. Keep your spine as your priority and see how your hands would like to go. Imagine you're pressing into an imaginary wall in front of you with the balls of your feet and also with your, um, with your hands. Taking another breath here. And then on your inhale breath, pressing yourself back up. Walk your feet back to sitting mountain. And exhale to fold forward over your legs wherever you land. Inhale to rise up halfway. And exhale to fold down again. 
Inhale, rise all the way back up to standing. Uh, to, sorry, to seated. And exhale, bringing your hands to your heart center. And then from there, bring your palms down, take a breath in. And a breath out. Another couple of breaths here. Just settling in our sitting mountain for a moment. And then from there, coming back, let's take our legs out to a V shape or maybe to an L shape if you'd like to take them a little bit wider apart. Adjust your bottom so you can move your legs. If you want to keep your left leg as it is, now remember this is in sitting mountain alignment, we can take our right leg out straight and long if that feels okay. You might even want to heel toe that left leg around a little bit further if that feels like where you want to go today. Remember any of those options is absolutely fine, yes? Hands could be on the hips or maybe shoulders or maybe they reach out slowly towards the side somewhere and we find our warrior two shape. Let the hands be soft so you're not overextending through the elbows. Relax the elbows a little bit. Let the shoulders drop down. Enjoy a few breaths here. Taking one more breath. And then slowly letting the hands come downwards. Now, just lifting tall through the spine and as you exhale, just letting your forearm come down. Now, remember when we come onto the forearm, we don't wanna collapse that rib down on the bottom. So stay upright and keep this shoulder away from the ear. That's it. Wherever that leg is, doesn't matter if it's a bit more forward than mine, we're all gonna be slightly different. Now we'll bring our right hand to the hip, the shoulder or maybe upwards again. So just doing it wherever is comfortable for you. We're gonna make some circles. So you can do this with your mind if you want. You can do this with your hand on your shoulder, or you can do this with your arm longer. Okay, so do it in your own way. We're gonna breathe in and take the arm or the elbow around and forward, and then breathe out to sweep it back and up. Again, it can be shoulder, it can be visualization, imagining you're moving your arm. I did that when I had my shoulder injury and wow, it really helped with my recovery. The mind is very powerful. Good. Circling over. Now bring this hand out behind you or elbow behind you and then pull yourself back up with that and let the other arm float up and back a reverse warrior, again, it could be shoulder, it could be hip, it could be imagining what you're doing, and then circle down past your face, across the body, up again. Keep grounding both feet down, don't collapse into that back leg if you've got it long, especially you might feel that that hip gets a little crushed there. So lift up and out of your hips. And then bringing this arm forward, use that to pull you back up, move back into your warrior two shape, wherever that is for you. Take an exhale breath to land. And inhale, reverse warrior one more time. And then exhale to come up and bring the hands back down. Gorgeous. Now if that back leg is extended, bring it back in. We'll take it back to sitting mountain first and then we'll walk the other leg back into meet. Pausing there in the center. Mm. And then we'll do the other side. So we'll start to walk out. You might even like to walk this one out first to wherever it feels the most comfortable. And then the other one can go out. Just doing it in your way to make your shape comfortable for you. Remember, it can be V, it can be extended. If you extend it, just make sure that knee's not rocking in space. Yeah, we don't want to rock over to the ball of the foot. Keep the pinky toe side down as well. Ground down into both of your feet and find your variation for your warrior two, hands, shoulders extended, and they can be one and one of one and one of the other. That's okay as well. As long as you're doing it because you need it, not because I just did it. <laughs> Looking out again over that right fingertip if you need, if you like. 
Again, just relax through the shoulders, relax the fingertips. Find that little bit of ease in that effort there. Feel that string pulling you up towards the ceiling. Feel the feet grounding into the floor. Mm. One more breath. Then we'll slowly release down through the arms. Take a breath in to grow tall, ground into the feet and lean out from your hips. Let your forearm find the thigh. Gorgeous, it's like tilting over. And then this left hand could be on your hip, it could be shoulder, or maybe somewhere away from the shoulder. Remember to use your um, visualization if you prefer. I'm gonna inhale and take that arm forward and down and back and up. Forward and down and back and up. Don't rush. Slow it down. Good. And then let that arm pull you upwards and change to that reverse tri uh, reverse warrior. And continue that arm circle around and down and up with the breath. Good. And then we use that arm to pull us back to the middle. We return to our warrior two, breathing out. Then inhale, reverse our warrior one more time. Exhale to come up and let the hands gently float on down. Beautiful. Walk the back foot in first so it comes back into sitting mountain to begin. And then the other one will come back around and we'll find ourselves back where we started from. Taking a breath or two here just to land. You can have your palms up or down, whatever works for you. And then from there, let's press into the ground. We'll let our arms start to journey forward. Maybe the body tilts forward a little bit. Pressing in and letting the arms come up. And again, we just go to wherever we uh, can with the palms facing towards each other this time. Take a breath in here. And then a breath out to come back and down with the arms, coming back to seat, interlace your fingers and inhale and, oh, sorry, hips or lower back or interlace and inhale, let the sternum lift up. Exhale, if you want to, you can fold forward over your legs, only if that feels nice. And let's come straight back up this time as we inhale. We're coming up, bringing in your right, your left foot underneath and taking your hands upwards towards the sky. Taking a breath here. Pause. Let the shoulders soften. And then floating your hands back down. Give them, get them behind your back again. So maybe your hips, your lower back or interlace once more and let the sternum lift open the heart and keep pressing your feet down, folding forward over your leg. If it's okay for you to fold forward, just see how that feels. It might feel very different with one foot back, minus. <laughs> Take another couple of breaths here. And then we'll inhale the next time. Pushing back up, slowly take your time to rise on up, bring the feet back to sitting mountain alignment, press with your feet, bring your core in, press with your hands, imagine you're pushing your body away from something and then lowering your body as you exhale towards that imaginary wall. Inhale to let the sternum rise forward and up, shoulders move back, hands are by the hip, the ribs now. And then press it down and away again, forward and away, I should say, sorry. And then from there, coming back and taking your feet out in front, hands on the body or hands lifted, coming forward as you exhale. Remember the spine is the priority. Oh, well, the breath is number one, right? Then the spine, then the limbs can come after that. One more breath here. And then inhale to slowly come back up from there. Walk your feet back to sitting mountain and exhale to fold gently over your legs. 
Inhale to rise up halfway, lengthen the spine, shoulders come back. Exhale, coming down. And inhale, press into your feet and rise on up to seated again. Bringing the hands down to the heart center and taking a breath. Beautiful. And from here, let's take our feet back out to a V or an L shape. Or maybe you want to move your right, your left leg around and extend the right leg again. See how that feels. From here, we're going to take our hands back to our warrior two. So find your shape. Then hmm. from here, we're going to start to bring the hands in. Press through your front leg as you bring your hands in. So sorry, press through your left leg to bring your hands inwards towards your chest. And press through that right leg as you bring your hands out. So use your feet, even though they're not really moving so much, like they don't look like they're moving, but can you activate one side and then the other? And again, pressing and releasing. Good. Now from there, again, reach out towards that left side, find your forearm to your thigh. And now from here, bring your hand to the hip, the shoulder, or maybe upwards now, just in line with the shoulder this time, so not over the head. That's it. If you want to, you can keep your forearm on your thigh or keep the length in your spine, maybe slide your hand down your leg somewhere. You can use that arm leg against each other as like a little bit of a um, stability. You can look up if you want or down, forward, whatever works for your neck. Take another breath here. Try not to bring the left, the right shoulder forward. Keep it back. So move the arm if you need to. Good. Okay, now press into your feet. Let's reverse that. So reversing up and back with the ribs. And then exhale to let the hand float down very gently to the leg. Walk your back foot in first, so walk that extended leg out if it's not, if it is extended, and come back around to the front. Take a breath. And then let's change sides. So we can walk our feet out again to a V, an L, and again, it might be slightly different because we might have different movement. Remember, I was saying in the warm up, our hips move slightly different side to side, so you might not have the same range of movement on one side to the other. Totally fine, by the way. <laughs> now find your warrior two. Your variation. And press a little bit with your front leg, so with this right leg, and bring the hands in towards the centre. And then press with the back leg to bring your hands up. Left leg, so press with the right leg. And press with the left leg. Can you feel that shifting weight? Pressing right. And pressing left. And then pausing there, we'll reach out like we're gonna touch that right wall, come down with the forearm to the thigh, that left hand to the hip or the shoulder coming up. So just first of all, check you have your shoulders one on top of the other, yeah? And then that arm just extends out somewhere. Try and be careful you're not dropping that shoulder inwards and down. You want to open out and roll. It's almost like you're going to roll it back, but you're not rolling it back just to the side. And then if you want to explore that lower arm, moving downwards towards the floor, feel free to give that a go. Press both feet into the ground. Remember that little pinky toe side, if you extend that leg especially. Taking one more breath here. Use your front leg a bit more now, so that right leg to drive you up, catch yourself with your left leg, and reverse warrior. And then we'll slowly return that hand back and down. And if your leg is extended, walk that one back in first, and then come around to the front. Take a breath here. And from there, ground down into your feet, shift your body forward a little, let your arms float upwards towards the sky as you inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down, 
hips or lower back or clasp them in the unusual way behind your back and inhale to lift and expand through the chest. Exhale to fold forward as you ground your feet into the floor and inhale to come back up. And walking back now, releasing your hands, walking back your right foot underneath, letting your arms journey up together or apart. And settling on the exhale. Breathing into grow tall. And exhale, bring your hands back to your hips, lower back or interlaced once more. Inhale, grow your chest, open the chest. And then exhale, fold forward. Now remember to really keep your support through your legs, both legs strong here. Front leg pressing you back, back leg pressing you forward. That little bit of stability in the middle. One more breath here. Use your inhale breath to press back up through that front foot, coming back up to seated. Bring your feet out to sitting mountain, or maybe this time walk them back a little bit if that feels okay for you. Press into those feet, really ground it, almost like you're gonna push your feet forward on the floor and feel those muscles switch on. And then press with your arms. And then keep pressing with your feet as you lower forward. Inhale, expand the chest, draw the shoulders back, lift the sternum. Exhale, come back to neutral, press with your hands and inhale back upwards. And then come back to sitting mountain or maybe extend your legs and find your downward dog. Long spine, shoulders soft. Head in line with the spine, pull back with the fingers, expand the fingers, expand the toes. Make sure the knees are slightly bent. One more breath. And then inhale to press with your feet to come back up. Place your feet back onto the floor as you exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale to rise up halfway. Exhale to fold down and inhale to rise all the way back up to your up for today. And back to hands at the heart center, pausing for a breath here. And then letting the hands float down to the, heart, uh, the lap, palms up if you like. And take a couple of breaths here now in sitting mountain. Now from here, knocking your knees in towards each other, take your feet out wider apart, let the knees knock in towards each other and wrap yourself up in a hug. Before the class today, we were talking about self-love, or at least my shirt was, and um, this is one way we can give ourselves some self-love. Feel the breath coming into the back of the shoulders, the back of the lower back. And we'll just pause here for a moment. Just breathing, enjoying the open space at the back of the body. When you're ready to, on your inhale breath, releasing your arms, walking your legs back to sitting mountain and from here we can take our feet out a little bit in front you can keep them where they are if you prefer actually do your forward bend in your way we're going to breathe in and on the exhale breath find your forward fold and make sure that wherever you land you can breathe really well now it just feels soft and gentle the breath is just flowing within without any force whatsoever Really start to soften through the parts you don't need to use now. Soften through the back of the body, the 
front of the body. Anything you're not using, the fingertips, the elbows, the shoulders, the face, the brain. And take another few breaths. Soft and gentle breath, slowing the breath down now. And the next time you inhale, slowly pressing up, take as many breaths as you like to come up. There's no rush. And we'll walk our feet back in, land for a breath. And then you can sit back into your chair if you like. Sit back and make yourself comfortable. Find the back of your seat. Wiggle your bottom forward if you like. Perhaps let the feet walk out in front. Turn the palms up or let them float down beside you if that feels better. And just enjoy now a moment or two of rest. We worked quite hard during that class today. We did a lot of activity. Let's balance it out now. Let's find softness. Let's switch off. No more work to do. So allow that softness to travel through your entire body. Softening every muscle, all the joints jaw, neck, shoulders, hands, all the way down your body to the tips of your toes. And let the mind soften, and the emotions soften, the energy drop, and even the breath, they soften here also. Just enjoying a moment of peace, a moment of quiet, of stillness. With nothing to do, but just rest. I'll let you know when it's time to come back. Of course, you can stay here longer if you prefer. If you'd like to come back now, just finding your breath again. And following your breath as it moves you back into your body. Just becoming aware of your body, the sensations in your body. Body on the chair, the floor. You feel like fingers and toes start to wiggle just a little and any other movements that you want to make just beginning to move through your body as you slowly make your way back to sitting mountain just taking your time and waking up in your own unique organic way When you arrive back in Sitting Mountain, just bringing your hands to your heart centre. And just bowing the eyes towards the heart to acknowledge that unconditional love that always resides within your heart and that divine connection to Mother Earth, to the divine source energy that always shines from within, that beautiful light. 
And may all beings everywhere be, be held with that love and that light. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me in that chair yoga practice today. I trust that you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below. Let me know how you found it and leave your feedback and suggestions as well. I love hearing from you and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.